Muslim League known as the largest single party in the country today. Even as results were still pouring in, he declared victory. Our agenda is the prosperous Pakistan. It is our duty to pull the country out of the current crisis. We respect the mandate of others, whether they win as a party or candidate. We invite them to sit with us to bail wounded Pakistan out of difficulties. But three-time former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif conceded that his party had failed to gain the simple majority, forcing him to invite other parties to form a coalition. He extended an olive branch to the candidates backed by Imran Khan's Tariqe Insaf party, known as PTI. But Khan's party is furious. Is there no constitution in Pakistan? Do the people of Pakistan have no right to decide? Then there was no point in holding these elections, no point spending millions of dollars on the election exercise. On Thursday, millions of people voted to select their legislatures for the national and provincial assemblies. The ballot was overshadowed by violence and an internet blackout. The delayed announcement of results has raised questions about transparency. The PTI performed better than expected, despite its leader's recent conviction on corruption charges. Khan supporters came out in force even as their hero languishes in jail. Imran Khan should form the next government because his party is in the lead in almost all parts of Pakistan, including Punjab, KP and Islamabad. I request all the three parties, for God's sake, do something for this country. They set aside their personal differences for Pakistan. If our politicians keep fighting among themselves, this country would never progress. These elections were held at a crucial juncture as Pakistan is embroiled in a serious economic crisis.